Good morning, everybody. It's been a few days since I've shot a video for this channel. Uh, we've been real busy with the kids. Had quite a few soccer games, and last weekend we had uh, four plays to attend, so I uh, didn't really get a lot done. But I'm back. It's a gorgeous day today. I planned on working in the garage on some of my pins, getting ready for the show. Uh, but Menards, or, sorry, Big Box has their 11% uh, sale, and uh, my wife threw out, boy, it'd be a great day to get out and work on that ditch. So I don't know if you can see the ditch on the ground there, but I'm going to do a little measuring. I've got a few different ideas for how I want to run the pipe than what I initially had. I'm going to do some measuring, a little figuring on what kind of parts I need. Then I'm going to start digging. And uh, this afternoon we have a soccer game, and after the soccer game I'm going to swing in and pick up the piping and, and the grading that I need to uh, hopefully finish this project. And I don't know that I'll finish today. This is a little, little more digging than the, the last two pipes I did, but it's a lot cooler, so I should be able to dig a little longer. And uh, we're going to give it heck and see what we can do. I'll check back in in a little bit. Well, I'm back. I've got everything measured out, and the cost was going to be a little prohibitive at this point, so we decided to break it up into a couple of smaller projects. So today what I'm going to do is the two recent gutter pipes that I ran out to the ditch. Let me show them to you. This pipe from the corner of the house, and then you can see that pipe right there, which is from about the middle of the house. I've gone ahead and I'm going to put a 90 degree elbow. I'll bring it out of this pipe, a 90 here, and you can see the red stripe going up the yard. This is what I'll follow all the way up. I'm going to have to move the ditch over a little bit, but that's not going to be a big deal. That's going to be 4 inch pipe to this point. At this point, there'll be a a four inch to six inch, uh, or actually a six inch to four inch reducer, but I'll plug the four inch half on there and it'll dump into a six inch pipe. And then the next phase, I'll start working on this. And uh, that's where the grating will be. And that'll be a six inch pipe to accept some of the heavier water. But for now, we're just going to use four inch pipe and get these two gutter pipes um, piped to that point. So I'm getting ready to start digging. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but at least it's cool out. I've actually got a little bit of a sweatshirt on because the temperature has really dropped, so I'm not going to be fighting that intense heat. But uh, I'll come back and show it to you once it's dug. I've got the trench dug all the way down. Uh, I don't know if it's deep enough. Uh, I, I, it's pretty close, but I need to go ahead now and run over and pick up the pipe so that I can lay it in the trench, make sure it's well below ground level, and then also I can throw a level on it and make sure it's got a little bit of a slope. Uh, about a quarter inch per foot uh, is, a, is a decent slope. So uh, I'm going to go ahead now and I'll, well, I'll show it to you real quick and then I'll go get the parts. You can see I've cut it all the way down. Feels good back here in the shade. <laughs> but I've got it cut all the way down. And I'm ending right here. And this is where I'll have an adapter to go from the 6 inch pipe on this side to the 4 inch pipe on this side. So I'll feed those two gutters into it. But a lot of digging. I'm back from the big box store. I picked up everything I needed uh, and a little bit extra. Let me show you what I got here. I got a couple of pipes just laid down in the ditch. I need to make sure it's deep enough and there's the additional pipes I'll use to make all my connections. Uh, what I found out was they had those pipes on sale for a buck and a half off each so I went ahead and bought. I needed one more to finish the job uh, on a farther up this way uh, really to connect my neighbor in. And I bought one extra just in case I needed any small pieces uh, so I'd have it on hand. They were a buck and a half off each. So that was, you know, that was a decent savings of $3 on those two extra. So I went ahead and bought them. And if I don't need them, I'll take them back. And I'll take them back on my previous receipt for the regular price. Don't tell them I said that. And, <laughs> and uh, the nice thing is I still have the 11% rebate coming on everything that I bought today. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just start to kind of fitting this up, make sure everything fits nicely and make sure my trench is deep enough because they've got to be far enough below the ground for grass to grow over top of them. So I'm going to work on that and I'll show you what I've got as soon as I get everything glued up, attached and ready to uh, bury. I've got my pipe run. There are a few spots where I'm going to have to lower it, but all in all it looks pretty good. I've attached on to the end of that pipe, run me an elbow there, straight on down, and then I put a fitting right here where we're at the middle of the house and then straight on down to where it drops off and gets really deep and what I'm going to do down here is I've got this adapter which is a four inch to six inch adapter this pipes up in the air right now I haven't cut it to fit so it's kind of let me show you 
as it comes down, you can see it hits that clump of dirt right there. I'll have to, tri I'll have to trim the pipe off. It'll actually end right about here. And then I bought this adapter to go ahead and attach, so that way I can make sure that the 6-inch pipe will be below the ground at the starting point. The rest of the yard slopes off pretty good, so uh, I don't think it would be too bad to dig the 6-inch pipe, but we're not going to do that today. I've got the pipe put together. This is where the 6-inch pipe will adapt in for the deeper section here, and uh, the grating, the first grate, will start just past that. It's hooked in up there. I got a little bit of a curve in there, but I was able to work with that. Uh, I ended up, this piece of pipe here was a tiny bit too short. When I attached the the uh, T to it, I had to kind of pull the pipe in, but it's all pretty solid. It's got a good amount of glue on it, so I'm not really worried about it. Now it's time to bury it. Well, I got her done. Uh, everything's covered up. Uh, I got a couple things left to do, and I'll show you what that is. There's the end of the pipe where the six inch pipe comes out. And all the way up, I've got it covered and leveled. What I'm gonna do right now is I start it up here. I'm just gonna rake this down, clean it up, level it up. And then the one over there, and then of course, the two over there, just gonna kinda of clean them up and get some grass seed on them. Well, I'm happy to say that that segment of the drainage project is completely done. Uh, it's now dark out, almost too dark to really see, but all I did is after I got the ground smoothed out, I went and uh, put some grass seed on it. Uh, and I, I uh, roughed up with a rake with a, the two areas where I had put the drain pipes at the end of the house and the center of the house. I didn't get the two on this side, the very first dig I did, uh, simply because my wife had already started watering the yard. And uh, I'll wait till tomorrow. It won't take long because that's, what, 20 feet. So I can rough that up and get some seed on it. Uh, but she's moving the uh, sprinkler around, and she's going to get uh, a decent amount of water on that grass seed or on that open area so that it can... Uh, you know, hopefully help it start to germinate. Uh, I'll be getting some straw and putting a little straw on there just to kind of hold everything down. Keeps the birds from finding the, the seed and it keeps the ground warm and keeps it ground moist. And so that's coming next. I'll have to get, uh, I don't know, probably two, three bales of hay to be able to cover it all, but I'm working on it. Hey, thanks a lot for following along. I really appreciate it. Have a great evening and I'll see you again real soon.